traveling for almost two days all the way from Pakistan, I finally ended up on one of the ships to have a cruise dinner with the Minister of Health in Germany. Dear Minister Shaban, dear members of Parliament, dear Nobel laureates, dear Mayor Seidel, dear young researchers and dear supporters, benefactors, partners and friends of the Nobel laureates meetings in Lindau. Our father, Count Leonard Bernadotte, lived by the maxim that one's accomplishments count. I was very surprised when I was young looking at this miracle of the microprocessor that more people couldn't see what a revolution it would bring. But in fact, when there is a breakthrough, a breakthrough in this case, providing a million times as much power as the computers that had come before, somehow it's very hard for the older generation to break out of the constraints and the way they thought about that resource. Now we can see its impact in full form. Uh, we see it in the way scientists collaborate, collaborate today, uh, we see it in the way that uh, kids are starting to learn and have personalized access to the very best lectures in the world. What was uh, your image about Pakistan before coming to the meeting and uh, is, uh, does it change with meeting with us? My best friend from college was Pakistani, he was from Karachi, uh, so I, uh, I was able at least to have a background in uh, some sort of Pakistani culture, I suppose. Um, yeah, scientifically, if that's what you're focused on, uh, I really didn't have an understanding or an exposure to research specific to Pakistan. Um, in discussing with you, I suppose that I have a greater respect for the science that, that you do based on the limited amount of resources. The world, the, the work, underdeveloped countries, right? It's just the work. I mean, there are some <laughs> economical indices and stuff like that that may show that the country is underdeveloped, right? But that actually just one point of looking at it. Right. The most important thing in science, in my opinion, is of course that you have the necessary equipment and stuff like that. But more importantly, people should work hard. Right. And in Slovenia, all of the society is working quite hard. We're doing our best, you know. Also scientists. Right. And the situation is quite the same, in my opinion, all over the world. Hailing from a developing country like Pakistan, we, the students of science, bring a message of peace. And we are taking back a message of inspiration from this prestigious new And we believe that uh, health is for all and we should uh, respect humanity and love every country, every type of uh, nation and we should uh, work for them as a team in the world. I would just like to end by saying that science has no boundaries. So no matter what race, culture, or religion you are from, just believe in yourself and work to the best of your abilities. Bye! Bye!